Phoebe Bridges or Billie Eilish, these kind of pioneering, strong musicians that are kind of pushing boundaries in their own worlds. And for them to kind of turn around and say, okay, I like what you're doing is really lovely. My name is Arlo Parks. I'm 20 years old. I'm a songwriter and a poet from West London. When I say I need some space, I shouldn't have to ask you twice. Yeah, so I started making music when I was about 14 or 15. And a lot of important albums had come out around that time. Albums like Channel Orange by Frank Ocean and King Cruel. It was the first album and I kind of felt compelled to try it myself because I had been so moved by those albums. So I just started getting guitar lessons and I started um, teaching myself to produce on GarageBand as well. And then I just kind of kept on going and here I am. A big moment for me was probably actually at the very beginning, like when, when Lily Allen mentioned my track. And to be honest, every time that somebody who I listen to or who I really look up to has mentioned my music because it makes me feel like I'm creating work that even the people I admire are like finding something in, which is beautiful. So I would say that first time Lily Allen posted Cola, for sure. Lead me to my own devices when your Coca-Cola eyes are out of my face. The pros are that you get to do what you love, that you get to meet a lot of different people, that you get to see the world. I think the cons, I guess, you know, there can be a level of pressure. Having that uncertainty as to whether people will like the new direction that you're going in and, and trying to do work that makes you happy and not trying to please everyone else. And, and just, I guess, it can be quite tiring, but there's definitely way more pros, so give it a shot. <laughs> in the past, like when I was first starting, I was super young um, and I look back on it super fondly, you know, I look back at those old demos and I didn't really know what I was doing and there was kind of a beauty in that. I was just experimenting and doing what felt good. You called me on my toughest night um, but in the future, you know, I hope for a lot more collaboration, a lot more travel, and going into different mediums, poetry, acting, directing maybe, um, and just keeping on doing what I love. We're a super sad generation, killing time and losing our paychecks. Yeah, so this is my first album, Collapsed in Sunbeams, uh, that came out a few months ago. It was mainly written during lockdown, and I'm very proud of it. You should check it out. Suddenly he started screaming no!